have to admit, I am now turning from bemusement to amusement as a as an autonomous zone. They are calling it the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone has been set up in Seattle. Protesters have taken over apparently a six or seven block radius in Seattle and have declared their own state. They've actually put up a sign. It says, you are now leaving the USA. Not kidding. The Capitol Hill Free Zone, they call it the Autonomous Zone, is a protester-occupied zone. Okay, it's sort of like the Occupy Wall Street routine that we saw a few years back, back in about 2010. And it is going to end up exactly the same way. It happened because the police were told by Mayor Jenny Durkin to essentially withdraw from the area and to cede the area to the cops. And it's turned into a raucous comedy almost immediately. Now, I think that a lot of people across the United States are feeling that things have grown out of control just a little bit. That no matter how much you believe that police brutality is wrong, and everyone who is good believes this, and no matter how much you believe racism is wrong, and you don't have to protest to believe that racism is wrong, it's kind of weird that we are now talking openly about a complete takeover of a major part of a major city by protesters against the police, where apparently, according to the cops, some extortion is going on. The protesters have built walls. They, they, they've gone full Trump, guys. They've gone full authoritarian, according to the left, right? They've built walls. Not kidding. They actually built a wall to keep people out. They took over the East Precinct of the Seattle Police Department. They called it the Seattle People's Department, which is... A, I'm really enjoying this live showing on continuous loop of The Dark Knight Rises. It's really exciting stuff. They set up physical barriers. They apparently have armed people patrolling the physical barriers. Apparently, they are stopping and frisking people who are entering. I'm not kidding about this. They are stopping and frisking people who are entering. And this was to get rid of the cops, guys. This was to get rid of the evil, horrible Seattle Police Department. And immediately upon that happening, people in there were like, oh, you mean now there's power that's up for grabs? It turns out that anarchy is usually a pretext for tyranny. Chaos is usually a pretext for terrible people taking over. And so according to multiple reports, essentially a warlord is taking over. <laughs> I mean, we're going to get escape from New York, except it's escape from Seattle. We're going to send in Snake Plissken. To, I mean, all that has to happen here is for, is for Air Force One to be downed inside the Seattle Autonomous Free Zone for things to get really wild. So here is exactly what went down. According to Ala Pundit over at Hot Air, Apparently, Seattle PD cracked down hard on protesters on Sunday night, despite the mayor having given a speech earlier that day calling for de-escalation. In order to lower the temperature, the week-long blockade by the police of their East Precinct was lifted, and demonstrators were allowed to march past. But that's not all. Apparently, they were afraid that the rioters were going to burn down a police precinct. So instead, the cops and the National Guard pulled out of the building entirely by Monday afternoon. They removed all the equipment and the files, they boarded the place up, and they left. And thus was born a new nation, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, or CHAZ for short, which... The country of Chaz, a place where progressives can indulge in some of the most humiliating stereotype of left-wing protest subculture. According to reports, by early Tuesday, demonstrators had established a perimeter with improvised barriers and deputized scouts. In the afternoon, the no-cop co-op popped up, slinging kebabs, snacks, and free water to passersby. A teach-in square was established at the intersection of 12th and Pine. We're going to get like a full malice regime here. Tents were pitched near the precinct, where people were encouraged to stay throughout the night or even just for two or three hours to hold the space. By nightfall, they'd built their own outdoor cinema. The crowd was energized to build connections. People spoke about investing in black-owned banks, divesting from corporations and prison reform. One speaker issued a warning about the American Legislative Exchange Council, quote, a group of usually white men from major corporations who don't know our issues and make laws. Protesters hung a banner on the East Precinct that read, Property of the People, according to KOMO, Como, which is one of the local stations. And there are plenty of photos available. There's even a map replete with labels like Regime Occupied Safeway. Regime Occupied Safeway. Solid stuff, guys. Really good stuff. <laughs> now, people inside, they, uh, uh, come on. This is, this is beyond parody. It's like the right wing made this up. Honestly, it's, it's, it's as though it came from the fever dream of like, uh, of, of, Thomas, uh, of Tom Wolf. I mean, that, that, that's what it feels like. Activists who are claiming to have helped create the police no-go zone in Seattle, are now asking for food from the outside. There's an activist who tweeted out, the homeless people we invited took away all the food at the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. <laughs> uh, you got rid of law and order, and then the homeless people came and took all your food because you're communists, and this is what happens, you stupid communists. It's just, it's delicious. It's delicious. I, I, like, again, my bemusement, so my... my my outrage at the destruction of law and order turned to bemusement as I watched the mayor of Seattle cave to all of this. And now it has turned to full-scale amusement as the thing turns into a predictable debacle. According to one of the anarchists over there, 
We need more food to keep the area operational. Please, if possible, bring, you ready for this? Vegan meat substitutes, fruits, oats, soy products, etc. Anything to help us eat. Yes, they're starving in there because they don't have the Morningstar Farms vegan breakfast products. We need those in there right now. This 18-year-old activist appears to be a transgender woman and self-described lesbian anarchist, according to her now private Twitter account. <laughs> well done, everybody. Well, I mean, this is, and, and so what are, what are the authorities doing about this? You know, because there are actual businesses and, you know, people who are not crazy who live here. So what are they doing about this? Nothing. Mayor Jenny Durkin, who watched her offices taken over the other day by protesters at the behest of councilwoman, socialist councilwoman, Shama Sawant, who's a full-scale idiot. I mean, Shama Sawant is a person who occupied Boeing and asked that Boeing stop making military materials so that they could create buses for the homeless or something like that. She, she's, she's a crazy person, Shama Sawant. So Mayor Jenny Durkin tweeted out in an effort, this is June 8th, right? so three days ago, in an effort to proactively de-escalate interactions between protesters and law enforcement outside the East Precinct, Chief Best and Seattle PD officers have removed barricades surrounding the East Precinct while safely securing the facility. In addition, Seattle Fire has several vehicles stationed near the precinct to ensure emerging medical needs and fires are addressed if necessary. Keeping this area safe is critical. There are approximately 500 residential homes in this block. As the chief takes this operational step, we will continue to remain focused on what we can and must do to address the systemic inequities that continue to disproportionately impact our black residents. Ah, so you're going to just let people take over a seven block radius in your city in order to fight inequity. Wow. Keeping demonstrations peaceful must be a joint effort between our community members and law enforcement. Now, it gets better. Okay, like the story gets better because it is spectacular in every possible way it is possible for this story to be spectacular. We will bring you all of the details of the brand new secessionist country that has been established inside the United States. It's exciting, exciting stuff, guys. You're watching revolution in real time and it is, it is comedy. It is high comedy. Guys, this is high concept comedy right here. Okay, so Fox News had a reporter on the scene yesterday explaining what was going on inside this brand new country, Chaz, the country of Chaz. <laughs> it's so good. You see, here's the reporter from Fox News on, Tucker's, on Tucker Carlson's show last night. A local station got video of several guards armed with assault rifles. They are asking for identification before letting people in. And police have received reports of the armed guards demanding money from some businesses inside their area. We also saw people passing out food in what they call a no-cop co-op. And they made a long list of demands. We have a full screen to show you at least some of them. Among them, abolish the Seattle Police Department and the court system, disarm all cops until they are all fired, and abolish you. <laughs> jails. The mayor's office did not Who respond to our request for, for a request Who for information about what for? they plan to do next. So they're, they're, they're allowing these crazies to take over. Like, this is a place where taxpayers live. This is a place where taxpayers live. So how's your whole abolish the police thing going if you're living in that area? Is it going well for you? By the way, some of the signs around the area are things like the cops will always be racist because capitalism requires inequality. Okay, so you would imagine that there are no cops now, right? I mean, like, this is the whole point, is to get rid of the cops. Wrong you are. Wrong you are. The cops are there. They're just not called cops. So according to Reddit, okay, people have been posting on Reddit what exactly is going on. There's a person named Raz Simone. Raz Simone is a rapper. Apparently, he has been distributing his rap mixtape to, <laughs> to as many people as he can. <laughs> it's a quick comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read you some of the comments. Okay, you ready? This is so good. It's from a, a guy called Wizard of the Future over at Reddit. Raz's crew is self-appointed, heavily armed, has indicated their intention to police the area, and has engaged in the use of force. I'm unaware of any rival street force of their statue expressing the desire to hold authority in the area. The power of vacuum has apparently been filled. <laughs> and then, <coughs> apparently... One of the other comments would say, I only knew him from three years ago when he gave my staff his mixtape when he came into our work. <laughs> and apparently, people are tweeting out things like, Raz is becoming the very thing people didn't want to begin with. There's a video that is out of the people working with Raz Simone in, in which they are confronting people who are graffitiing. Now, apparently, they only want certain places graffiti because they're certain allies and they don't want their businesses graffitied. So weird, they want to protect the property of people who they are allied with. But I thought that private property is bad, guys. So they walk up to some people who are graffitiing. 
This is people who apparently work for Raz Simone, allegedly work for Raz Simone. And the exchange is just glorious because remember, this whole thing started about the evils of police brutality and authoritarianism. And literally, you now have an armed force of people in this Seattle communist area telling people, we are the police now, and I will blow your brains out if you resist. So police brutality went away for like that long, apparently. And by the way, Seattle cops aren't doing that. Seattle cops are not doing that. This is the, these are the woke, the woke initiates. The woke army has arrived. I, I'm, I'm start, I want to start a GoFundMe today. Any woke white liberals who are working for mainstream media outlets, if you wish to relocate to Chaz, to the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, I will help pay your way. If you pledge that you will stay there, if you can show evidence that you are willing to stay there for the entire duration of Chaz's, uh, of, of Chaz's existence, and you are willing to subject all of your bank accounts to the tender mercies of Chaz, I am more than willing to subsidize your, your immigration to this, this area outside the United States. Thank you for tuning in to The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.